Alright guys, how's everything going here? Today I'm going to have a fun little video for you on my Galaxy Tab 3, which is this device right here. And it really looks like I'm running side gem on here, doesn't it? It kind of has that look and feel to it. Um, but it's not. And I'm going to show you what it is. What we're going to show you guys today is how to install this ROM. This is called Seal ROM. Um, and it also has the Blackhawk kernel installed to get it fully functioning. So we're going to go through that. So it's going to be two things. One is I'm going to show you how to do the kernel install. And another one is I'm going to show you how to do the ROM install. So you're going to actually have two different things here. I've not actually kernel install video before, even though there are a couple out for this device. Um, and it's very simple. It's just like flashing a ROM. So I'll try to explain that as best I can as we go through this. So all that being said, let's go ahead and I'm going to actually walk you guys through this ROM really first, really quick first. Um, so that you can get a good feel for it. So you can see your toggles are all themed it's black on white. I like it a lot. Looks very clean and crisp, and a uh, very very nice look to them. You can go into settings right here. Settings again look just like TouchWiz. It is actually still TouchWiz. Um, so you can see their settings screens look pretty pretty standard. Um, let's go ahead and check out the de about device. Here you go. You can see it is Seal ROM right there, and this is for the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch, which is the ST uh, SM T. 210 or 210R either way. Right here, this is the Kernel C Blackhawk kernel. So that's what you're going to have to install to do this. Um, you can install Blackhawk kernel on any of these TouchWiz ROMs that are for this device. And it just will make everything run faster and quicker and things like that. So, you can see the rest of the settings. The only other setting I really want to point out to you in this ROM is this setting right here, which is Pi Controls. And I actually have a video specifically on this, um, which is called LMT Launcher. Um, which is Pi Controls, okay? So if you want to know anything about these, uh, I would check out that video, and I'll probably link it in the video description down below. So Pi Control, just so you can see what it is, it is this. This is Pi Control, which is your home button, or your running applications button, or search. Open up a little search thing going on. Let's see if I can get it to open search. There it goes. So search or back to home and I think you get the idea it's just it's just a, a nice little tweak here this can go into um, some settings if you want to go that way or you can go into clock stuff which pulls down this this drop down so there are some different things you can do here and obviously you, the other things that's cool that you can actually do is you can actually add more layers of buttons out here with shortcuts to applications and stuff like that. So it does have some neat functionality to it. Um, a very cool little feature and I like that it's right inside the settings to be able to get into it and check it out. So you've seen the toggles, you've seen that. Let's go ahead and check out your app drawer for this ROM. So these are what's included. You do have, um, well the camera does work but I bumped it. You do have Apollo, browser, calculator, camera, it's an AOSP style. Um, there's CM file, file browser if you like that kind of stuff. And Super Sue, obviously, to have root access as well. And then all of your uh, widgets, if you keep scrolling through them. So, um, yeah, there we go. Widgets. So, pretty much what you got for what comes with the ROM. Pretty standard. Obviously, you can download anything else you want from the Play Store. So, the other thing I want to explain to you guys is that with the custom kernel, um, I'm not sure if this one's got overclocking in it or if it's just got tweaks to make this device run smoother. But I mean, just from when me playing with it, it does feel a lot smoother and a better, a lot better operating than the stock device running. Uh, this is running, like I said, Seal ROM. So, all this being said, let's go ahead and show you guys how to um, install this. So. The prerequisites are for this are you're going to have to have obviously this model number, the SM-T210 or 210R, and you're going to have to download two files. So first file is obviously the ROM, and I'll give you links to it. Second file is the kernel. Now if you just want to add the kernel to your device, you can just download the kernel and flash it. It's very simple. The other prerequisite is you're going to have to have some kind of recovery installed. I really like uh, Team One Recovery Project or Clockwork, or I'm sorry, or Clockwork Mod. It's fine too, but I like Team One Recovery Project or Twerp. So let's go ahead and boot into Recovery. So the way you boot into Recovery, well, you can do it two ways. If your device, like this one, has a reboot option, you can go right here and go Reboot to Recovery. If it doesn't, I'm going to actually use this and show you. So this is really nice to have it. If it doesn't, you power device off, 
you hold your home button, your volume up button, and your power button. As soon as you see this screen, you let go of power, keep holding the other two buttons right here and here, and it'll boot into recovery. So, and you'll have Team One Recovery, Pro recovery Project, or you would have uh, Clockwork Model Recovery. So once we go in here, first thing you always want to do before you install anything or do anything in recovery, very first, number one, don't forget to do this. You'll be sad you did, didn't do it if you don't. Let's go ahead into backups and swipe across and create your first Android backup. I'm not going to do that because you can see I have a couple backups right here in the restore uh, option and I can always restore them. So you want to have that in case you get a bad download, you get a bad ROM flash. If you're, even if you're installing just the kernel, that's something you're going to want to do. Once you've done that, you're just going to go to wipes. You're going to wipe cache. Swipe across. Delvic, swipe across, go back, factory reset, swipe across, and go back. I try not to wipe system unless I absolutely have to. Um, if a ROM says to wipe system in this directions, I would do that, but I don't think you need to in this case. So we'll go back again, and we can go to installs. you got to find out wherever you have your ROMs downloaded. I download mine to my computer, and then I download it to, the, or I transfer to the device is normally how I do it. But if it's in downloads, you know, you just got to know this is a file system. You can go up folders and down folders right here. So you just got to know where um, your files are at. So first thing we're going to do is go to CO-ROM. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you this. If you want to install just the kernel right here, if you're, you would just go to the kernel zip. And you just swipe across and flash it. When it's done flashing, you reboot the device. Boom, you're done. That's it. That's how to update your kernel. Obviously, make an Android backup first in case the kernel doesn't work with your device for some reason. And you can always restore that, but that would be it. That would be all you do to install the kernel. So really simple. I'm going to do them both together here when I do this ROM install because this ROM requires it. So right there, you just selected the seal ROM version 2. We're going to add a zip, and now we're going to pick the kernel. There it's listed. So it says files 2 of 10 max. So we'll flash these two files. And as soon as this gets done flashing, that's it. You will have seal ROM installed on your device. Really sweet looking uh, ROM, very fast, very smooth for this device, so I'm really liking that feature in there as well. Obviously, it just, this device needs a little bit smoothing up, and this is, runs really, really well on it. So let's let this thing uh, install. You can see we already got a progress bar across the bottom, and as soon as it's done, we will uh, boot it up. Okay, there we go. It finished, and you just hit the reboot system right here in the bottom corner, and it should go ahead and reboot the device. Now some reason, I don't know why it does this, but when I did this the first time, it did the same thing here. So I hit reboot and it don't do nothing. Actually, the whole recovery, everything like locks up. Don't really know why, but what I found is just hold your power button. This doesn't hurt anything as long as it finished installing and got to this screen. Power off and it'll power back on and it should go ahead and show you the seal rom uh, boot animation there you go that's it there's your seal rom boot animation pretty plain simple different I haven't seen one like this so I, I like it I like it um, and that's gonna be it guys that's it uh, as soon as this installs you're gonna go through your initial setup you know turn on your Wi-Fi putting your password all that kind of stuff putting your Google account and all that goodies and you will have the rom set up exactly like I had it set up Pretty simple, but just remember, if you ever freeze like that on the uh, end where you hit reboot, and it won't it won't reboot for you, just hold power and it will it will reboot and you'll get out of recovery and your ROM should boot up. It's a little, little funky. I don't know why it does it. Maybe I should pull a log cat on or something, but I'm not worried about it. There you go. That's gonna be it. Uh, you've seen the ROM. You've seen how to install it. Very very simple. Hope you guys like this videos. And as always, root junkie out.